today we are going to learn about some text functions and these functions helps us to combine the content of multiple cells into one single cells so let us start with the basic one so we have first name and last name in two columns and we want to get a full name for each person so you can use and function or ampersand it is a very simple function so take the first part and take the second part and press enter that's it the problem is this simply joins the two words together but because it is a name we would like to have a space in between so go back after the end double quote space double quote and type one more end and press enter and that solves your problem okay now let us learn what is concatenate so concatenate is nothing but another form of and okay if i want to write the same thing here concatenate then it is asking me which text to combine and i can take first text double quote space double quote second text and third text i will take from column c okay and i get the same results so you are free to use whichever you like my personal logic is when there are more number of parts i will use concatenate because typing comma is easier than typing and okay when there are less number of parts i find it easier to type and okay so up to 2 to 3 i can use and more than that i would prefer to use concatenate now what are the problems with these functions the problems with these functions is you have to select each cell one by one i will unhide one of the column okay now i want to include the middle name also some people are having middle names so I, what i might write after that this cell and then another end and double quote space double quote combine it with c3 now that is also fine but problem with this is that here you are having double space one when we were combining these two and one when we are combining these two cells which can be avoided using trim also but but then it is an additional work now let us learn a function known as text join we want to create full address based on these parts okay building an apartment street area city and country so if we use and function we will have to use at least three or four ands or con same way concatenate also and this is only available in Excel 2019 or Office 365 version of Excel. What is the separator which you want to keep or delimiter? I want to keep comma and space as the separator. Okay. Then it is asking, do you want to ignore empty cells like this one? Okay. Or this one. And I would go for true. Okay. Provide me the text to combine. Now, good part here is I can select one by one also. Or I can simply take this range and press enter my whole address is automatically coming and if you are having anything blank in between so it will skip that one so it will not add multiple spaces due to combination of that blank cell if i am having email addresses okay and i want to mail to all of them so rather than copying one by one it will be easier if i can get all of them separated by semicolon so that i can simply paste that into gmail or outlook so here you can use text join function what is the separator you want semicolon and space do you want to skip blanks so if it is there yes i would like to skip this is the range and press enter you can simply take this text and copy it in your mailing list now let us learn about concat function also so what is concat concat is also similar to text join so if I try to use concat, okay, here it also it is saying give me text one by one or as a range. So I can select as a range also, press enter. Only issue is here is that it will simply combine it. There is no separator here. So you should have separator if it is part of your requirement. Otherwise, it can also be used in situations. So like here, if you want to look up the exchange rate, based on these three parameters first you would like to generate a unique key okay so you can use your concat function to generate that unique key i will create a column on the left side name it as unique key 
equal concat and take these three cells to press enter so that will give you the combination of all the three elements and based on that i can v look up or match and index these exchange rates so the biggest benefit of concat or text join is that they allow the range referencing you can select multiple cells in one go and use it in that formula while earlier the and and the concatenate function they were working in the similar way but then you have to select each cell one by one please remember these functions concat and text joins they are available only in office 365 or excel 2019 okay so let's say i want to put all of these separated by comma into one single cell there is one more function for that which is known as array to text okay it requires array and then you can simply press enter and you can see all of them are separated by comma so that's it from my side on these functions which helps you to combine data from individual cells or from a range hope you found it useful please like the video share it with your friends and colleagues and don't forget to share your feedback in the comment section thanks for watching see you in the next video